Welcome to Zoom and Times TV. And here's your host, Anita Finley. Hello, everybody. I'm Anita Finley, uh, your host for the Zoomer Times TV presentation. And I just want to tell you something. Remember um, about the healthcare workers uh, in the hospitals. Uh, I just attended something for the Broward Health Foundation, and we purchased meals for a lot of the healthcare workers. So if you're able to help anybody volunteer with this situation, it would be very exciting for you to do that. Uh, the other thing I want to tell you about is that it's coming up now for you to be able to um, choose an HMO, either Advantage or Supplement Plan. So look into Boomer Times and Senior Life. We do have some very, very important people to advertise. This is the September issue. And I just want to also uh, tell you that Anthony Culp, who our guest, who is our guest now waiting to talk to you about real estate, is probably the the foremost realtor here in South Florida, and you'll hear him. He, he goes above and beyond the call of being a realtor, and I know that for a fact. So Anthony Culp, uh, let's get started with you. You certainly, every time we're on, you always have a very good subject to handle. What would you like to talk about today? Well, we can get started with, um, if you're going into a 62 and a half facility, um, to make sure you check it out very well before you move in, because it could be very expensive to try to get out, to move out again. You're talking about the life care, not, not just a rental. You're talking about moving in where they have... Where you, where you buy in. You buy the unit and uh, you pay two, $300, depend, uh, $1,000, depending on wherever you're going. And then you pay a monthly fee, which could include... Uh, your cable, your internet, your, of course, it'll include your electric water sewer, and also several meals uh, a month. You may get 20, 30 meals a month. Uh, but you do have, in most places, you do have a kitchen inside your apartment. So, uh, but that buy-in, if you do buy-in, say $200,000, and you're there a few months and you don't like it, uh, getting out can be very costly. So you want to make sure that it's where you want to be. It'd be nice if they would have a trial basis of 30 days, wouldn't it? Would <laughs> but they can't great. do that. That would be great. Yeah, they don't have enough apartments. <laughs> well, that's good advice. But uh, do you meet people like this and you're selling their homes and you deal with the senior population? What are they expecting when they sell their home? Well, where do they want to go? Well, that's part of the problem right now. Uh, people want to sell their homes, but they don't have a home to buy or they're selling their home for one price and downsizing and realizing that they're not saving that much money or they're spending a, a lot more than they thought they would have to to get into the smaller home that they're trying to buy, if there's even one available. Funny you should mention that, that uh, we lived in a home in Ocean Ridge and my husband kept complaining that it was a very high mortgage and hard to expect you know to afford it and so we did sell it and you know we made our profit and then we came and we rented a three-bedroom apartment and the rents are high yeah. and and uh although i don't have to pay the taxes and i don't have to pay for the maintenance and a lot of the other things so there is something to downsize especially if you're an older person it's a lot of work um right. i have a friend that um she has a home and it's lovely but every day there's something Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. so but she lives in a home with a pool and also now she should probably move to something a little bit more you know amenable for her and bringing up rentals there aren't any rentals out there either i was showing rentals to uh a couple and every place we got to there were three or other three or four other people waiting to get in to see it as well uh so even rentals are very much on demand we have more people living here now than ever before, and it's estimated 100,000 more people a year will be moving to Florida really? in 10 years. Now, we, you, know, you just can't build homes that fast, and the majority of those people would like to move to Southeast Florida, which it's just not going to happen. Um, people are starting to find the West Coast, and they're, they're settling a little bit, saying, okay, well, there's not as much to do, but I'm getting a nice home for the price that I'm looking for. 
And as more people move there, more things will come up. The more theaters will open, you know, there'll be more entertainment. Uh, people are also moving north of Palm Beach in the area that we always thought was so quiet between Palm Beach and St. Augustine. And they're starting to look into quiet communities along there. You know, people used to say, why don't you bring your magazine up to Port St. Lucie and to those places? And I said, there's nothing there. They're just mobile homes. There's nothing around. That was 20 years ago, right? Right, right. I was up there a couple of years ago and I loved it. Yeah, it's quiet. It's true. But, uh, you know, there's still, you're right. There's only so, so much ocean and so much, and Florida is so linear. But um, Naples has always been very popular and it's very beautiful, but that's very expensive. So if you go between Naples and Sarasota, there are a lot of little places and, you know, and I'm sure it's less money. On the Hmm? west coast of Florida, there's a lot more space inland to build new communities. Where in South Florida, Dade, Broward and uh, Palm Beach counties, we're built out. We do not have, you know, when we're talking hundreds of thousands of homes that are needed, we just don't have the area to build that. Now, you may start to see some uh, commercial shopping centers, areas like that, that, you know, retail is not going to be what it was before because people learned how to buy online. Uh, so you may see some areas like that that are commercial that are then turned into residential. One of the things when they when they do that, they get a lot more units per acre. So because it's commercial and they're downsizing to residential, they'll give them, say, just for an example, they'll give them 12 units per acre instead of somewhere uh, a little further uh, into a residential area where they may only give them six units per acre. Ah. So it will be, you know, as uh, retail sits empty, it might be a little more advantageous to use the property for the highest and best use, which could convert to residential. So Yes, I've been reading about that. And also there's lots of parking mm-hmm. and it's yeah. uh, they're usually in very good areas. Right, right. So you've been so, seeing that too. Well, you have a lot of business that's going to come up. Let me just show everybody your ad. In Boomer Times, this is Anthony Culp, that attractive young man, and he has um, lots of business. His ad this time talked about Winmore. Winmore is a very interesting place, as a matter of fact. Why don't you tell some people about Winmore? Winmore is great. It's it's uh, they have a golf course there, and your fees pay for your water, sewer, trash, the use of the golf course. They have a large theater. They have a restaurant. They have walking trails. They, there's just they have a bus. Uh, it's, it's a gated community. It's just such a nice community. It's laid out very well. Uh, mostly all of the views from the, from your condominium, uh, is a great view and, uh, it's just a nice friendly place to live. That area, uh, is just really taking off. Um, there's a beautiful shopping center right up the street called the promenade, which they have it set up like a small town with winding streets and it has restaurants and, you know, uh, retail. Uh, so it, it's in a great location now where people in the past always thought, oh, it's so far out because we are so, everyone's so used to going back to Fort Lauderdale for everything. But now you have Pompano Beach, you have, you know, Lake Worth uh, or Lighthouse Point and Deerfield and, you know, Margate, Coconut Creek, all of these are great areas. I mean, there, there's a very large mall only a couple miles from Windmore. Uh, Coconut Creek Mall. So, you know, when you move to an area like that, you really have to go out and, you know, learn the area and see how much there is right right there instead of having to drive back to Fort Lauderdale. So let me tell you, you can reach Anthony Michael Culp by this number. So get your pencils out. This is Zoomer Times TV, and this will give you the phone number, 954-815-9048. I'm going to repeat that. 954-815-9048. And if you want a tour of Winmore and you're interested, if you call Anthony Culp, he'll, um, he'll show you around because he likes it and he knows where the properties are. And as he said, there aren't a lot of rentals, but they're always something and he'll find it because people and, and know him. And it's very affordable too. And, you know, condos, Good a two-bathroom, two-bath condo, uh, you know, could be under 200,000, a one bedroom, one bath is in the low 100s. So really? 
It's one of the most affordable. It's a 55 plus community. Uh, and it's one of the most affordable in South Florida. Let me ask you about that 55 plus. So if someone is 50 years old, they cannot buy in there. They, the association uh, can allow up to 20% people under 55. Oh. So, but they don't have to. A lot of people think, oh, you have to allow up to 20%. They don't, they don't have to allow that. They cannot go over 20%. If they go over 20%, they can lose their 55 plus status. So um, I, you know, I'm only a little over 55 and, and I love 55 plus communities. Um, some people get upset with all the rules, but, uh, you know, without the rules, your neighbor may be doing something that irritates you that, that, you know, you have to have those rules. So everybody knows, you know, it's, it's black and white. You're allowed to do this or you're allowed to do that, but you can't do this or that. And it makes for a peaceful living uh, existence because you do have a lot of people living in a smaller area, although Winmore has a lot of open space. How tall are the buildings? Are there any high rises or, or what do we have there? No, I think the highest building in there may be eight stories, but most of the buildings are two stories and a lot of them are about five stories. But Are the two I, stories, do they have elevators? Yes, most of them have elevate, elevators. The two stories, some of the two stories do not. Well, it's interesting that we talk about that because I think a lot, I have friends in New York and some of them walk up four or five flights every day. And you know, that's why I think people, a lot of people lived longer because they were walking all the time. Right, right. I have, okay. I, I know the other something thing I wanted to I know someone who's 83 and he, his building has a catwalk. So he'll walk the catwalk and there's stairs at each end. Then he'll go up a flight of stairs and he walks the catwalk to the other side, walks up the flight of stairs. But he's a man, he lives in Manhattan and he thinks nothing of it to walk 12 blocks or down all the steps into the subway. Uh, you know, he just doesn't think about it. He just does it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's, it's really important. Um, well, let's just so continue with this because it's wonderful to hear you that you're almost like a, a PR person for these areas. Now, uh, that's true, but, but that's not where you live. Why don't you tell people about your wonderful community where you really do specialize? I live in a community called Palm Air in Pompano. And it's in all, it's about 7,000 units from an efficiency all the way up to million plus dollar homes. It's uh, very lush. There's three golf courses. And the good thing, you don't have to join the golf course or the clubhouse. And it's one of the only communities that you don't have to do that. But, uh, and there's two clubhouses. You can go and use the restaurant for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, and the one restaurant has a large bar. So it's, and then the other thing we don't, we don't own the roads. The roads are owned by the city. So we don't have to save money or, or uh, replace the roads over six miles of walking trails that are off the street. The uh, Skolnick Center, which is a Pompano Community Center is right there. The, uh, there's a Publix right inside Palm Air. And it's very lush, very, a lot of mature trees. Um, when you come in from Powerline or McNabb, and once you pull into the street where the, it's lined with large trees, oaks and ficus, you just, uh, you get that park-like feeling. So it's a great place to live. Yeah, and it, it was famous years ago because I remember Elizabeth Taylor used to go to the salon and, mm -hmm. you know, and, and it is a beautiful area. And it's now in a great location. It's halfway between the Turnpike and I-95. Correct, correct. And then we have the Isle Casino right across from us, which is 423 acres that's being developed. And it's being developed by the same company that had done the Hard Rock Casino. And there's so many great things they're trying to do. They're trying to bring all three trains into one station. They're building uh, a large park with uh, what's called a crystal lake that you can actually swim in. They're building a town center that has retail and uh, restaurants. So of course, they're going to make the casino larger. They're tearing down the horse track, which is good. Horse racing is going out like dog racing. It's just, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not good to the animals. And they're putting in high light because they do have to have some sort of um, sport there in order to keep the casino open. 
They're building a parking garage. Now, one of the things they are building that a lot of people are upset about is uh, a uh, industrial area with warehouse space for um, like kind of like what you hear Amazon has, but Amazon doesn't own all the distribution centers. There's other companies that also have distribution centers and there's also um, companies that act as distribution centers that, that may have the whatever people are buying in stock all the time. So many companies will be using the same distribution center. But it's in the northeast corner of the property where it really won't be seen and it's the closest to 95. So tractor trailers would come out to Andrews and then Andrews to Atlantic and Atlantic right on to 95. Uh, tractor trailers typically don't use the turnpike because it's too expensive for them. Yeah, well, that sounds like a wonderful, I know you've been telling me about this project for a couple of years. Is it actually under construction now? Because I thought they were holding off. Well, they started the parking garage. So most likely they'll do the parking garage, the high lie. Uh, and once they get that up and running, then they'll tear down the racetrack and do the infrastructure for plumbing, electrical, and uh, and then after that, they'll probably do the uh, distribution center. Um, they'll do what they'll start to, you know, start what starts to bring in income. Also, they're building 4,100 condominiums there. Uh, wow. Some of which I'm sure will be hotel rooms. Oh, I see. Mm. Yeah, it, it is a very big space. And so I'm, I'm glad that you're sharing that with us because I, you know, it's, it means that the economy will be coming back. It's just taking a little longer than most people thought, isn't it? Yeah. I think a lot of people have saved money over this uh, horrible period of time that we're going through. Nothing to do, nowhere father, to go. <laughs> I know my father and his wife have. They they haven't been able to travel. They don't go out to dinner as much. They don't even uh, do their favorite pastime uh, of going to play to slots as much. So they're <laughs> saving a lot of money. <laughs> Well, yeah, that's true. But, you know, the nice, the most important thing is to stay safe and to be careful. Make sure you're vaccinated, wear your mask. And, and, and we're going to get over this. It's just a turmoil right now. But I'm glad to see that they now are uh, the little kids. They're, they're going to give them shots, too. But, you know, besides that, we have uh, a big world to think about. And never, I, I was in the real estate business many years ago, and it was uh, very good, but then never did we have anything like we have now? You're, you've really been the right place, the right time, and uh, you're the right person. I mean, because people, people do have the wrong idea about um, real estate now, and they will, they will spend a lot more than they should. And I'm sure that that's what you're there for, to advise them, well, maybe if you don't have to buy this right now, maybe you shouldn't, right? And, and if you're gonna sell, uh, maybe you ought to sell now. So you need an advisor. You're like a financial expert, I think. Right. Well, you have to have a place to land, especially if you're retired or, you know, depending what age you are. But either, either way, you don't want to sell your house and not have a house to buy. So a lot of people are sitting tight and they're starting to just make improvements to, that, to their house that they're in. And, uh, you know, since they don't have to start a new job or get the kids at school, they can be patient and wait. How long they're going to wait or what's going to happen, who knows? Uh, you know, we're just every day we're running out of inventory. So uh, take Winmore, for example. At any time, they used to have over 120 units on the market. Now they have about 30 or 40. If really? That. really? And most of them you call to show and the agent will say, oh, it's already under contract. And that's happening a lot. Let's talk about that under contract. Now, sometimes things are under contract, but... The contract doesn't go through. What are you as a broker? What, what are your responsibilities? Well, if it doesn't go through, we get it right back on the market. I mean, if it's because of financing or, you know, whatever the reason, um, you get it right back on the market. So, uh, you know, it can get sold and the uh, sellers can move on with, uh, you know, with a, what, whatever they want to do. Um, right now, we have a lot of Canadians selling. They haven't been able to get into the country. Not all of them. Uh, some have, but most cannot. Uh, I have a gentleman we went under contract yesterday, and then he called me this morning and he said, "You know, we still don't. I still don't know when I'm going to be able to uh, get into the country. So I'd like to hold off for a little while." 
Now, unfortunate for him, if he holds off, this property will sell in 24 to 48 hours as soon as it goes back on the market. But, you know, unfortunately, it just wasn't the time for him. But, but actually, Anthony, uh, just because someone doesn't live here, you can certainly manage the sale, the purchase, whatever you have to do. So they can communicate with you and money can still go back and forth, can it? Sure. I'm, uh, I'm working with uh, a, a husband and wife Canadian couple that they want to sell their place. They haven't been able to get here. And one of the things that I do, I, I do this for people who, who have passed away, who don't have family here. You know, I, I tell them, can you send somebody in, take out valuables, take out any medications and remove any weapons? And after that, tell me what you want to keep. Tell me what you want to get rid of. And I have people who will go in, they'll remove uh, the stuff. They'll leave enough stuff so we can stage the apartment, have everything else cleaned out. And I'll send a cleaner in to clean it. And, uh, you know, it'll go on the market that way. We set it up to show the best way that it'll, it'll show. So the last one that I had, and actually they're calling me as we're on, on our meeting, uh, it was like a warehouse. You could not even walk through the living room. It was that had that much stuff in it. <laughs> so I had the, the gentleman come in and, and he took a lot of stuff to charity. He took some of the stuff to his warehouse. And then, the, and then we left enough stuff there to stage it. Uh, we, and um, I think we're going to be getting an offer on it tomorrow. So uh, I have another one where the gentleman passed away, two sisters, one's in Boston, one's in California. Uh, I had sold the gentleman the, the uh, place and I walked in and I just said, stop what you're doing. I'll take it from here. And they were just so grateful. And I just told them the three things, valuables, medications, and any weapons. And uh, they've been, they've been, they've been terrific. Um, one of the sisters wants to come back down. She thinks there's some family photos and stuff here. So we're not emptying or removing anything yet until she comes down. But um, yeah, it makes it so a lot So Anthony, of I know we're running out of time, but my question, I want to give everybody your um, number again, but then I want to ask you a question. Um, number is 954-815-9048. Again, 954-815-9048. And Anthony does not charge you for these extra things he does. It's all part of the real estate deal, isn't it? Yeah. That's, you just have to have the people in place to help you. I can't, I can't do all that work by myself, but I have a lot of good people that I work through, work, you know, who help me out. And uh, now I have a couple of agents that we're all working together. I have a couple of agents that are getting ready to retire, and but they still want to help out any of their clients. So we're working together to, you know, make sure that the people they've been working with for years uh, are still taken care of. Well, Anthony, as usual, it's always just such a pleasure to talk to you. I always learn so much. And we, when we start out, we never know what we're really going to talk about. But you know so many things about real estate that I'm never worried. So then, thank you, Anthony, Michael Culp. But we appreciate your sharing all your expertise and your good nature and your helpfulness. And uh, we'll talk to you again. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure, Anthony.